No, I hit it. I, I just blew it. that rock all apart. I heard that it. Hit? Yeah. And that's at 2.6 mils. Hey, Galen, do you want to tell us what you just did real quick? Um, yeah, I just uh, took a couple shots at 619 out there just to kind of verify data. And uh, it actually seems like we're shooting a little bit high. So the load's a little bit faster than what we were hoping. Um, just hit probably about a softball size rock. 619 with it so it's we, shooting we just laid down just got here this is the first oh yeah shots. first shots so. yep first shots to try to verify a little bit of data so we we did some shooting at 619 yards uh confirmed everything was on entered in all of the ballistic data uh the kestrel uh is saying at 2500 yards uh to hold 40.7 uh, mills of elevation. Uh, what I've got the scope set to is actually 41 and on my first 10 shots uh, every shot was within just a few feet. Uh, you know it's saying my wind hold is 3.6 but I'm holding 5 mils for wind left. And uh, my first string of 10 we're shooting we're going to shoot 10 shot strings and then get off the gun, let it completely cool down, let one of the other shooters make an attempt, and then uh, circle back around. So stay tuned. Let's go check it out real quick. Let's go. Hold on, hold on, don't step in front. Let's try to find the projectiles. There's one there. There's that one. It's probably this hit right here. Awesome. This one was a solid hit. Uh, that other one looks like it was a skip. Yeah, it could have skipped up into the target. We got two hits. One projectile, we'll come back and find the other projectile with a metal detector, so, yeah. Do you want the good news or the bad news, Galen? <laughs> good news. Good news is we got down there really fast. <laughs> no, good news is you hit it twice. Woo! Seriously? Bad news is I only oh. found one projectile. Holy <laughs> what the That's awesome. Good job, buddy. Smacked it. That's awesome. Good job, man. That's crazy. Where Thanks, guys. Let's see it. Uh, I have a video. I, I, I was so excited for that <laughs> spray paint. Right, we got we got to go down there. We I forgot to spray paint. Holy hey, shit. Let me, let me finish. We need to get the brown. Hey, let me, let me finish, my hey, let me finish my string. Good language, good language. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just found out that we made two hits on uh, the target out of 2,500 yards. Go ahead. Th this target is a, a slightly bigger target than we tried last time. Uh, we started off on a 30 inch. We wanted to oh, drop the bullet. 
we wanted to see you know if we could get on that target we are going to step the target down and try to get all the way down on that little elliptic ipsc target so but two hits 2500 yards and what is exact distance, Caleb, with your phone? Because we measured exact distance. I want to know what, exact what distance. What I tell you, 1.39? 1.39 like miles. String, so third string, Caleb. Third string, yeah. So third, one point third nine string. 1.39 miles, third so string. we're just, we're on <coughs> a little under 2,500 yards, yep. but almost 2,500 yards, which is impressive. Yeah, but uh, two out of 10. Are you Robbie? No, I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> so bad news. You are terrible news, dude. This is retarded. <laughs> you hit the 24 and the 30, baby. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you don't get the cap yeah. I did it, I was like, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get the cap He and Nick said, he's like, you weren't aiming at the hundred. <laughs> 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 Were you aiming at the small one? Actually, that one shot I was, whichever one was. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was my seventh shot. <laughs> Dude. I decided to take one over there. Yeah. <laughs> Go check the silhouette just in case. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if there's a hit on the silhouette. <laughs> How's that feel, Robbie, hitting at 2,500 yards? It feels pretty good. Now, not taking anything away, but how long have you been shooting long range? How long? This yeah. is my Three week. This is, this, is, <laughs> this is my, I've been practicing with Galen and Matt, and they've been giving me pointers and then just going out and shooting, trying to practice as much as I can. And then that was shooting about 750 yards. Um, this is the farthest I'd shot before this, and this is my first time of ever attempting anything over 750 much yards. You guys are awesome. So, <laughs> I, I think the results speak for themselves today. I mean, we came out here, and we had high. We came out here with high expectations based on. Based on our last trip out here, we made yeah. a couple of equipment changes. <laughs> we uh, changed everything <laughs> on my rifle except for the barreled action. <laughs> the Ivy, Ivy Shooting's adjustable mount 
um, if you're wanting to stretch a cartridge, if you're wanting to push your rifle and, and get out there, that thing is amazing. Um, 50 mils adjustable, and the adjustments are absolutely repeatable. Uh, you can, once you adjust it, you lock it. I mean, it's solid. Just an amazing piece of gear. The Ivy Mount, uh, in, in conjunction with the going to the the Whiskey 3, which has way more adjustability uh, to fit the gun, um, and going to that Huber trigger. I put a new, I, I got a new suppressor, uh, Aero Charger Ballistics, and I got a new trigger with Timney triggers. And, and we had Robbie shooting a uh, factory Ruger Precision Rifle. Um, again, Athlon Cronus Optic, mm -hmm. and then the Ivy shooting adjustable mount. And he was shooting the uh, the factory ammo. Yeah, and he was at 50, about 51 mils, and yep. uh, then he ended up making contact on the 30 inch gong yep. with a factory gun. With, with a factory, factory gun ammo. and factory ammo. <laughs> Unbelievable. And, and that Ruger Precision, I can't say nothing about it. Well, you can, I mean, unbox <laughs> the gun. Really I well. absolutely didn't change anything. You got stock trigger, stock cheek piece. I mean, basically, put our ammo, it screwed the suppressor on it, went shooting. Yep. When I started shooting. I think it was my very first shot. It was the very, very first, first, shot, first shot. The third attempt. Out of your third it, string of ten. Yeah. yeah. Was it third or fourth? Fourth. Third. Fourth. Was it fourth? Fourth, fourth, fourth string. Yeah. Because I fourth Matt, string. Matt had yep. hit on his third. Yeah. Yep. I hit on my fourth string and I actually heard them. <laughs> they didn't want to say anything. I, I could hear the guys <laughs> saying they think they heard something. I'm like, whatever, you know. I'm like, no, you didn't. And then we actually did hit, but I hit the wrong target. <laughs> <laughs> but I still had a, a, a smaller target than that. <laughs> so Even if it was accidentally. So then, <laughs> so then Robbie made the windage adjustment and hit the actual target yeah, he was yeah, aiming yeah. at. No, um, I did make a windage adjustment. Galen was actually calling my wind. He goes, I think you almost, I think you might have hit the target. He didn't know, he said, because you were so close. So I made an adjustment and he goes, man, you hit right in between. Uh, the two targets because we had them really close. How many feet would you say they were apart? Eight feet. Eight feet, eight feet yeah, probably. Eight feet. So they were really close. So it was just a windage adjustment. Adjustment elevation was perfect. Uh, we adjusted. I hit about center. Then Galen told me I was about center. Made another adjustment and he said you had to hit in between the legs and the target. So I made another few adjustments and we were all over. And that, was kept the, saying, that was the hit. That was the hit. You're all yeah, over it. And then the we, we hit on it. your ninth, 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 ninth shot. You know, we ninth kept shot on that string of ten. Yeah. So that's pretty cool for a stock gun, stock ammunition. And the cool thing up. about it that we proved to ourselves and hopefully other people is the bullet was stable at 2,500 yeah. yards. Oh, we know yeah. that 100%. Yeah. We got that on video. We'll oh, show yeah. that to Very, you guys. We made it yeah. and we got hits and that's where I, we came I think the every, I mean, every every shot we made was stable. Yes, most uh, definitely. Every shot we put down range was stable. The stability wasn't it wasn't an issue. It was it's just being able to get the get the windage and the and the the elevation correct and and try to push this thing to its max. And I think we I think we, we, it's we pretty much its did max. that. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely past the creed max. It just yeah. you know we were doing some crazy stuff because most guys aren't going to run a 50 mil adjustable mount on a creed more. No, no. <laughs> we that's will. For, that's for the that's for the big guns. <laughs> What, a, what an awesome day. What an awesome yeah, place to be to better. shoot. I mean, good grief. Well, you know, I, I'd, I'd like to start by, by thanking everybody here mm -hmm. because yeah. without, you know, without every one of these guys, every single person here contributed one, uh, one way or another, uh, whether it was spotting or, or running to get get something that we needed or making sure that everybody had what they needed to be successful and without everybody here uh, we wouldn't have been able to do what no. we did today and I'd no. like to say thank you. Yep. Yeah. I'm sure Bo could have figured out the plane. <laughs> we don't even need you guys anymore. <laughs> okay. Well all the guys back at the shop. You know, all the guys back at the shop that are... There's a lot of guys you don't see here that put in a lot behind this. And I know Galen's got a group, a lot of support. We all have a lot of support. So we're here, we're working hard, but there's a lot of guys back at home that are taking care of things too. That's why Gary usually don't see him in this. He's usually back at home taking care of us. And we yeah. wanted to get him out here on this trip. And I think, did you have fun, Gary? Oh, I did. I appreciate it. And yeah. Then, uh, we're missing Preston. Yeah, Preston yeah. unfortunately couldn't come this time. It's like missing a leg, not having Preston around. A skinny leg. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then we didn't have Jill with us. So yeah, Jill, we didn't have Jill. Jill. We're sucks. missing Preston and Jill. But she did, yeah. she did, she did double up on yeah. brownies. She did, send, yeah. she did double she up on brownies. Doubled so. up, yep.
one batch for Caleb and one batch for everybody else. There you go. <laughs> I still got that batch left in the airplane. <laughs> I mean, Jonathan just kicked the dirt right in my face. As I, as I let that one go, I'm sure it was probably a hit. <laughs> Who's the Sasquatch using that? Wherever I hit, I go immediately to it. Hey, you got good news? Not really. We rolled the razor already. And they don't have insurance. They wouldn't let us carry insurance. I'm probably in trouble. Legal? No, <laughs> with you. <laughs> oh, good grief. Those things aren't cheap, probably. Legal Would you trouble. forgive me if I told you I'm just kidding and we got two hits? Give you a <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried about you going to jail. <laughs>